Hi guys, Ms. Berg. Um, we are now going to be going into uh, nine two, which is ordered pairs and graphing. Um, if I had to pick a favorite lesson that I love to teach, it is this lesson, one of my very favorites. Um, so um, I'm going to flip this around here. All right, now. If you remember, when we went to Spire, um, there was one thing called the long jump. So here's where you stand back and then there is a big uh, thing of sand. Um, so this is your sand. So when you are doing the long jump, um, you're gonna be doing what you are doing today on your graph. So when you are doing the long jump, what do you do first? First, you should be running this way to gain speed. And then after it, then you jump up. So um, this is what is called run, then jump. And same for like, uh, if you guys ever play like Mario or any type of video game, um, when you are trying to get uh, boxes and you can do them quickly, you just run first and then jump up. So you gain some speed and then jump. So that's just another thing that you could also think about as well. So the first thing is you are running first. When you run, you are gonna be running along what is called the X axis. So um, the first number is always your X, X axis. This is also gonna be your running. You're running to this number. Um, then the second thing is you are gonna then, once you get to that number, you are gonna jump up uh, just like you did here. Um, you're gonna jump along the Y axis. Here's the Y axis going this way. Um, so this is your jump number. All right, so how I also think of it is I think of it as like um, X and Y, what comes first in the alphabet and X does over the Y. So therefore it's X first, then your Y axis second. It's just another way to think of it. So locating a point on a coordinate grid is similar to describing directions of north, south and west and east. The hor horizontal line number lines on this grid is the x-axis. The vertical lines of this grid is your y-axis. So these are your x, these are your y. So each point on the uh, coordinate grid can be described by an ordered pair of numbers. The X coordinate is the first number in your ordered pair. It is your horizontal uh, location. Also you're running, you're running across a uh, section or the distance um, from point is from zero in the direction of the X axis. The Y coordinate is the second number in the ordered pair. It is your vertical location of that distance from point the point is from zero in the direction of the Y axis. So a big thing to also know and to note is the X and the Y axis intersect at point zero, zero, which is called your origin. So every time before you even start, if you don't have a start location, um, you are always gonna be starting at the origin. Remember, um, keep in mind to keep remembering what that name is. This is called your origin. Um, why is it your origin? Because it is both zero on your X and zero on your Y. So this is where you start. So here I am, I am starting. I'm gonna to start to run here soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and now read what my order pairs are. So it says, write the ordered pairs from the locations of the arena and the aquarium. So it says, locate the point from which you want to, to write an ordered pair. Look below the x-axis to identify the point's horizontal distance from zero. 
and then uh, which is also known as your x coordinate. And then you're going to look at the left of your x uh, axis to identify the vertical distance from zero, which is your y coordinate. So the ordered pair for the arena is three, two. So let's talk about that. We're going to go to um, the arena. Here it is. It says your first number should be the one on your x-axis, which is three. And then your second number is the one that is on your y. So x is first. So this is three. And then your y is your two. So therefore, it would be three comma two. And now we got to find the aquarium. Now, how I do it is if I am starting here at my origin, which is zero, zero, and I'm going to go to the aquarium, where do I have to run? How far do I have to run? What number do I run to to get to that point? And where do I run? I run to nine on my X. So therefore, my first number is nine on the X. So now I'm, I'm here and I know that. So this is where I'm at. And some people like to like dot it. And that's fine if you like to kind of like see where you're at, that's fine. And now we got to figure out what did we jump to? Well, I jumped up here, but where is that on my Y? So if you follow it, that is actually your four is your Y number. So therefore um, your, uh, your thing here would be nine, four. So this is what you would be doing here is nine, four. That is your coordinate for uh, auditorium or the aquarium. Okay, sorry guys. Um, next, it says a point on the coordinate grid can be labeled with an ordered pair, a letter or both. So it says to plot, uh, the point five seven and label it just a J. Um, so from the origin, again, you are going to start at the origin at all times. That's where you start uh, when you are going to a coordinate. So you always start at zero, zero, unless they tell you you're going to start somewhere else otherwise. But in this case, it did not say anything that you're starting at a different place. So then you're going to go five seven. So how do you do that? You got to run to the five, okay? So here's my five. And then I'm gonna jump up to where the seven is up on here. So then where do those two meet? It meets right here. And this is gonna be my dot. And that is gonna be labeled J. So some people say it is J and then you can put your coordinates after it. I'll just tell you right now, if it says label it J, just label it J. You don't have to put the coordinates into it. Um, so just label it J in this case. Here, um, it says plot and label the point, um, plot the point eight zero and label it S. So from the origin, which is our starting point, zero, zero, how much am I gonna move to the right? So it, I, my first number is where I run. I'm gonna run to the eight. So I gotta find the eight up, oh, here it is. And then it's gonna say, I'm gonna jump to the zero. Well, here I am at the zero on my Y axis. So therefore I'm gonna jump nowhere. So therefore this is gonna be my um, spot that I'm gonna be plotting. And it says to label it S. So I'm just gonna label that one S. And that is how you do this. So from the origin, I moved how many to the right? How many units did I go to the right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went eight units to the right. Remember each unit is um, starting here to here, that's one. Here to here, that is two and three and four and five six, seven, and this is eight. So eight units to the right. And then how many units up did I go? I went 
nowhere. So I didn't go up any units. So therefore that is zero units. All right. Um, so how you can figure out how many units that is, is you could just count it like that, which that's my preferred one that I, I do all the time is I just kind of count it my units, how many units away it is from one place to the other. Um, I just count it like that. But they're saying that there is a different way to do this. Um, for example, it says you can find the distance between two points um, when the points are along the same horizontal or vertical line. So it says draw a line segment to connect points A and B. So here, I'm gonna do that. And then it says, count the vertical units between these two points. So guys, this is personally the way I would have done it. Um, I'm gonna use a different color. So it's just easier for you guys to see. So um, the first unit is right here, here to this line, that is one unit. Then there's two units and three, and four, and five, and then this is my sixth unit. So therefore it's actually six units away. Now, um, so there are six units. Now what they're saying is that you could actually use subtraction to find this. Now, how you find subtraction, how you do subtraction to find this is you can go ahead and put these both down. Um, so put the two coordinates down. This one was nine, nine. And this one was nine, three. And how you can use subtraction is see which ones are different. Um, see, the X's, they are the same. So therefore that's not gonna tell us anything how far away they are from each other. But here um, I could, they are different. So what I would do is I would subtract the two numbers and that would give me six units. And that is a different way using subtraction um, to find out uh, how many units away. Me personally, I just like counting. I think it's much faster and easier but that is completely up to you. This one says graph the points three, two and five, two and explain how you can use subtraction to find the horizontal distance between these two distances. So um, three, two, so start at the origin. I'm gonna go to three and go up two. That is where that point is located. Um, and then the other one said five, two. So I'm gonna run to the five and up two. And then here is my distance right here. So how many units is that? Well, here to here is one unit and here to here is two units. So it's gonna be two units um, just so that you could look at that. However, what they're saying is that you could take both of those and kind of line them up. This one is five, two, and then this one was three, two. So then you see which ones are different. Well, these ones are the same, so that's not gonna tell us anything, but this one is different. So therefore, if you subtracted these two, um, it would give you your distance as well. So that is saying that it's gonna be two units apart, which we found out by just counting the units itself. So either way you wanna use it, you can. Um, my personal opinion, I like this method, just counting, um, but some people like this and that's fine. Whatever one you like, you can use. All right, next. Now it says you're gonna look over here, you're gonna use coordinate A grid to write down the ordered pair of each given point. So they wanna know what the coordinates of C is. So to get to C, remember I'm starting at zero, zero, to get to C, what do I have to run to? I have to run to six. So that's gonna be my first coordinate. Then where do I jump to? So I'm right here, so where do I jump to? I'm gonna jump up and that is at the three. So therefore 
um, my coordinate is 6, 3 for C. Then we're going to go to D. So I, I got to find D. It's right here. Where do I run to to get to that number? Um, I run to 3. So that is my first coordinate. It's 3. And then where do I jump to? I jump nowhere. I'm at 0. Remember, this is 0 on your Y and X. So therefore, I am at 0 on my Y axis. So therefore, that is the coordinate. Next, to find E. I got to go find E. Now to get to E, which is over here, where do I have to run to to get to that E? I have to run to 9. So then that's going to be my first number. And then I'm going to jump up to 9 to get there. So therefore, my coordinate here is 9, 9. Next, again, I'm going to start at my origin, which is 0, 0. I'm going to go to F. So I got to find F, which is right here. So if I'm here, where do I have to run to to get there? I have to run to 10. And then I'm going to jump up to uh, 5 on my X, on my Y. So that coordinate would be 10, 5. All right, now it says plot and label the points on coordinate grid A. So I'm gonna do this part with you as well. Um, this one says to go to M, you're gonna run nowhere and jump up to nine. So let's do that. Again, I start here. I'm gonna run nowhere. I'm gonna to run to zero, which I am already at on the X axis because remember origin um, is zero, zero. So I'm already at zero on my X here. So now it says jump up to nine. So I'm gonna run nowhere and I'm gonna jump up to nine. So I'm actually gonna plot my point right here. And then it says to label it M. So what I want you to do is I want you to plot each one with a point and then label it next to it, that letter. So. Um, plot a point, you need to have a point. You can't just put an M right there. It's very hard to see when you do that. So please put a dot where it should be and then put in the letter next to it. On six says we have to go eight, run to eight, jump up to six for H. So we're gonna run to eight and then we're gonna jump up to six. So where do those two meet? You might need two hands to help you figure this out. Where those two meet, it is right here. So please be careful. I know I should be using two hands, but I'm trying to record with one and um, write with the other. So it's really hard. So eight, six, that is where that is. I'm going to plot my point saying that it's right here. And then I got to label it that letter, which was H. All right, next. The next one I got to do is I'm going to label K at 10, 4. So that means I'm running to 10 and jumping to 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So then I'm going to plot that point. This should be 10, 4. If you want to check, you can do that. And then I'm going to plot that K. Label it K. All right, now next one, I'm gonna put T at four, five. So I'm running to four and I am jumping up to five. I'm gonna plot it. And then I'm gonna label that one T. Okay, W is gonna be at five, 10. So I'm gonna to run to five, go up to 10. So I'm gonna plot it and then I'm gonna label it W. Next, the last one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label R at one, three. So that means I'm gonna to run to one, jump up to three. So that is right here. And then I'm gonna put a dot there and then I'm gonna label it R. All right, so there 
is how you should plot and how you find coordinates. So now what I want you to do is I want you to do 11 through 24 on your own. Go ahead and do 11 through 24 on your own over here. So please pause that and try that on your own. Okay, so um, you should have tried this on your own. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick. We have to find the coordinates for G. Well, G, um, if you started at zero, zero, which is your origin, G is at six, four. So six, four, you run to six, jump up four. H is up here. So that would be four, nine, four, nine. Next one, I, you should run to zero and jump up to seven. So this one would be zero, seven. Next, J. I am going to run to the J, which is nine. And I'm gonna jump to five. So it would be run to nine, jump to five. And then here, K, in order to get to K, I would have to run to three and then jump to three. So it would be three, three. Next one, L. I'm gonna run to five, jump up to two. So this one would be a five, two. All right, next to do this one, it says you should have plot and labeled. Again, you should have had a point just like all of these did and then put the letter next to it. So I'm just gonna go over this very quickly. Um, the first one should have been eight, two. So you should have went to eight, jumped up to two, plot it, and it would have been W. This one, E, is zero, four. So run to zero, which you're already there, jump up to four. So therefore this would have been E. Next is two, nine. So you're gonna run to two, go up to nine, you're gonna plot it, and this one would have been X. Next, um, you should have went to three, run to three, up to four, which would have been, this one would have been B. Next, you would have ran to four, jumped to zero. Ran to four, jumped to zero, which you're already at. So this would be your point, and this one would have been R. Then here, um, F, you'd go to seven, run to seven, up to six, which would be right here. And then you would label this one F. Then the next one is five, seven. So run to the five, up to the seven, plot it. And then this one would be labeled T. Then this one, seven, one, run to seven, go up, jump up one, and this one would be A. So explain how to find the distance between point F and point A. So point F to A. So there are a couple things that you could have said here. You could have said, all right, um, I'm just gonna count uh, each one. So this is one unit, two units, three, four, so you stop after each intersection, five. So that is saying it should be five units because I found my distance. Now, the other thing that they wanted you to also see is if you did the coordinates for each one, this one would have been seven, six. So F is seven, six. And then A is seven, one. So the other thing that you could have done is you could have done the subtraction method seeing which one was different. This one is not different. So the only thing that was, was this one. So you could have subtracted these two at a six minus one is five units. That's just another way to doing it using the subtraction way. But I would have just used the way that I did 
uh, first, which is just going from to each intersection and counting by each time I get to another intersection. Okay, now the next page. Um, it says Nathan and his family are planning a trip to New York City. Use the map for 26 through 30. Each unit represents one city block. So what order pair gives you the location of Bryant Park? So here's Bryant Park. So where is that location coordinates for that? You would have had to go and jump to four, uh, ran to four, jump to eight. So your coordinates should have been four, eight for that. The Empire City built, uh, the Empire State Building is located five blocks to the right and one block up from zero, zero. Write the order pair for this location and then plot and label a point for the em Empire State Building. All right, so it says the building is located five blocks to the right and one block up from zero, zero. So when you see where it says from zero, zero, that means that's your starting point. You have to start at that from, which is your origin, zero, zero. And then you said you have to go five blocks to the right. So if you go five blocks, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I went five blocks to the right and then one block up. One block up, it says to plot and then label it. Empire State Building. Okay. And then um, what is that ordered pair for that? So the ordered pair would have been five, one. All right, what's the error? Nathan says that the Madison Square Garden is located at zero three on the map. Is his order pair correct and explain? Um, so let's see. So when you're finding the order pair for this, the first thing that you need to do is run, which is to three, and then you jump, which is your zero. So therefore, um, is zero, three, correct. If you did zero, three, that means you run nowhere and you jump up three. So what is his order pair correct? You should be saying no, because he flipped it around. It should be three, zero. All right, next it says, um, Paulo uh, walked, uh, walks from point B to Bryan Park. Point B to Bryan Park. So from point B, so he starts at point B and he goes to Bryan Park. Raul uh, walks from point B as well, but to Madison Square Garden. If they only walk along the grid lines, who walks farther and explain? All right, so um, Paulo goes from here to Bryant Park and Raul goes from point B to Madison Square Garden. So we're going to have to count each of these units to see who uh, walks the farthest. So the two that we have is Paulo and Raul. So we'll have to see um, how many units each one of these is. So uh, we're going to do Paulo first, go into Bryant Park. So this is one unit, two units three, four, five, six. He goes six units. 
And then let's talk about Raul. He goes to Square Garden. So to get to that line, that would be just one, then two, then three, four, five. This one is five units. So who walks farther? Well, since six is greater than five, um, Paulo walks farther. All right, next, I want you to try uh, 30 on your own. So please pause this and try this one on your own. All right, so um, just to go over this, it says, look at the map um, on New York City. Sorry guys, um, I had a call come in. Um, so if you look at this, it says, look at the map of New York City above, so suppose that um, the subway station is located at 6-5. Which of the following accurately describes the location of the subway station? So first they said that we should be um, putting down the subway station. So it starts at 6-5, so let's do that. 6-5 um, would be running to six, going up five. So this is the subway station right there. So now it says the station is two blocks to the right and three blocks down from Bryant Park. So it's saying from Bryant Park. So that means we got to start up here. And then it says go two blocks to the right. So one, two, which is right there. And then we're going to go three down. One two, three. So did we make it to the substation, subway station? Yes, we did. So therefore, this is correct because it did say um, mark all that apply. So it is very possible that there could be more than one place. Um, so then the next one is from point B. So now we're going to start at point B. It says go four blocks to the right. So one, two, three, four, so we're four over. And then it says, go one block down. So did we make it to the station? No, we did not. We should have went up instead of down. Oh, sorry. We should have went up instead of down. So um, this one, let's try this one. It said from the library. So we're gonna start at the library. So here we are. It says that we should go one block to the right. So that's one. And then three blocks down, one, two, three. And that is your sub subway station. So therefore C is correct. And then the last one, um, we are gonna go from the Madison Square Garden. So we're gonna start here. And then we're gonna go five blocks to the right and up three. So one, two, three, four, five, up three, one, two, and three. Would I make it? No, I would not. So therefore the only correct answers would have been A and C here. So um, in this case, what I want you to do on your homework is um, all of these on this page. You can do one through 14. Um, the only thing that I'll help you with is this one, number 15. What is a situation in which you might locate points on a coordinate grid? Well, guys, all you got to think about is what things have we been talking about? We have been doing nothing but seeing maps of, of things. So that is definitely one situation that you guys could do sure. something. So um, one thing for, sh for sure is going to be um, you would be using this on maps. So I'll help you out with that one. But then the rest of them, um, I think you guys can do on your own. So please uh, take your time on this. Remember, you should be running, then jumping from the origin. 
um, which is your zero, zero. Okay. So you will do all of these. Uh, technically, they already did one for you. So you would be doing um, two through 14 on this page. On the next page, uh, I want you just to do one, two, three, and four. And then you don't have to do five and six. So that is it for lesson nine, two. See you guys later.